Team Trangle Force Houten coming at you with an also an updated version of my Shadal deck. Uh, this is because uh, during my last tournament with the Shadals I did really bad against Satella Knights. So I wanted to build that actually can keep on with the Satella Knights. So I tried something and um, let's see. I will run. Double Hedgehog, uh, Double Dragon, Double Falco, still not cutting to one, I like to, and then I miss a card, there he is, triple Squamata, and triple, almost triple, triple Beast, you, um, yeah, in my opinion, you need to run these, this lineup, this variant of this deck. There, you mathematician. Mathematician is strong. There, one black class soldier. He's strong. I am still trying. I, well, actually, I did like these. So, yeah. More dead hands, but they are good. So I'm still using the Dark Arm and Eclipse. Uh, then, the one black dragon and triple white dragon. Uh, maybe do this to two, but if I do that, I have a really... I can break really hard. Okay, so these are two cards that I actually never use in this deck. Because I uh, don't like them. But the first card is Felice. Um, there are many reasons why I don't want to run this card, but there's one reason why I do want to run this card. Uh, the reasons that I don't want to run this is because it's you can normal you can't normal summon it. It's bad in your opening hand. It's bad at it's bad if you draw this uh, crap. But it's a light which can be used for a shadow fusion. But the main reason why I use this card is um, because uh, in my last top 8 game against the Terra Knights, I could make um, a Black Rose if I used this card. But I didn't have a Black uh, I don't run, didn't run this card, so yeah, that's why I didn't uh, do that. So, s since Black Rose is a really important card, um, this meta, because there are really big fields, I decided to run this and let's see how it goes. Then the second card, I run is a light pulsar dragon. So maybe a lot of people are scratching their heads because I am as well. Um, why do I run this card? Yeah, it's a 2500 monster, which is a light, and so it can be sent to the graveyard by uh, Shadow Fusion. And he has a secondary effect you can ditch a light and a dark monster from your hand to the graveyard, special on it. So if I'm correct, this card will also be... If this card sent from the deck to the graveyard, okay, I lied. So, I hate police. So, but this card, 2500 monster, it has no synergy with this deck, because you don't play any high level dragons except for Darkham Dragon, and he can be special summoned. So, I'm trying this out. Uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, I used to play Chaos Dragons and I really enjoyed playing the deck. So yeah, maybe... Maybe it goes really well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> then for your spells... Triple Shuttle Fusion. Triple L Shuttle Fusion. I did run two. But instead of two I'm now running three. And this is against... Uh, Satellanite Constellar Diamond. That motherfucker that kills my deck. Um, so now I have a lot of monster cards to get the monster, such as Mind Control, which I'm going to main deck. Uh, Snestial. Add a hidden armory to get the Snestial. So there actually are six cards in here. Um, with these six, are, I am trying to win against the Tellers. And luckily I can do a lot of things uh, with my control. 
enemy controller and snatch you against any other decks because Shadol is really um, yeah, how, how do I say this? Consistent in um, in stealing or using your opponent cards because if you steal a light or dark you can fusion it or maybe an earth if you check an aga. Uh, you can synchro summon with it because you have a, a tuner and you can exceed if you grab a level 4 you can exceed with it. So it's very strong these, all these cards in certain matchups. Then I have one Book of Moon, uh, one Regegi and uh, one Forbidden Chalice. I'll write Chalice as one, just random negation. Also a in the mirror, but I did explain that already, I think. And then the one trap, Gore. So yeah, for your extra deck. Um, triple window, I might cut one uh, to put in a downward magician. But I still don't have a downward magician, so that's why there are still three in here. And triple shuttle. Um, a Shakinaga, um, sorry, Construct, and one Shakinaga. So yeah, then I dropped, uh, what's her name? Adrius? No? Um, Armadis. Uh, with the reason of, uh, I never summoned it. I have, I think, four or five level 3 monsters in my main deck. So, uh, the chance that you have one of those and a falcon and then use it consistently is really low. So I dropped it and uh, I'm still playing Goyo because you play a lot low 4. This and this because you can easily summon it. Uh, especially now we, since I play Felice. And I still play the one Leo because it's really strong. Then for your Xyzes, uh, one Castell, Exits on Dweller, and on Castellar, Pleiades M7. I think you all know why I run this card, but, since, but just for your information, um, I do not run any level 6 monster instead of this guy. So, um, it might happen if I steal a level 6 monster I can make it, but that's not the reason why I play this. The reason is, um, Castella Diamond is an also Constellar then just only as a Telemite monster, so uh, I can just drop this on the diamond if I control it. And I do that with one of my six cards that I play. And then, if I do this, the problem is solved. There's no face of diamond. So I can um, wreck my opponent. I also forgot what this real effect is. I think I can bounce cards. Oh yeah, so, something like that. I can bounce cards from the field or graveyard to the re owner's hand. Strong. So I recycle my own Black Lotus Soldier, for example. Yeah. Okay. But guys, this was Sir John. And rate, comment, subscribe. No, I'm sorry. Like, comment, and subscribe. There's no rating system anymore on YouTube. But guys. Um. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.